Welcome to this mainframe tutorial series. I'm going to take you through setting up uh, some mainframe automation incredibly quickly using some of our accelerators. So what we need is a project. Um, we're going to frame what I want, keep it nice and simple. And we are going to connect to our mainframe uh, project configuration here. Click save and Tesla is going to set us up a load of assets that we can use a little bit later on. Um, we're also going to need a connector. Um, so in this case, um, I added a new connection. This one is for Astrom. Um, this is just an emulator that we use. So I'm using the mainframe connector type. And uh, in this case, I'm using Astrom and this particular port. There are more details that you can play around with here, but make sure you have those things set up. Um, what Test Model has done is it's set us um, a series of models um, and components and various things uh, out of the box. So actually I could go and run some uh, mainframe automation right now. Uh, if we come and look under our components, we've got here all of our actions and commands that we can kind of go and run against the mainframe, capturing screenshots, different assertions, all of those sorts of things, which is great and really fast to kind of go and set up. Uh, what it's also done is it's created as uh, some examples. So this is my first mainframe automation. It's quite a linear model. So um, what it's doing is it's opening up a connection. Uh, under that particular connection, uh, you can see those host details that I set up earlier. Um, I've got capturing screenshots. I'm going to log in by a particular username. In this case, it's demo and demo. Um, and we're pretty much good to go. So going to go and generate me some tests. In this case, just one. There's one path through this particular model. Very straightforward. I'm going to choose run. I'm going to choose my automation code and we're just going to execute it here. Now, uh, this essentially is going to pick up um, some code templates that, that, that sit in the background of test modeler. Um, it's going to automatically generate um, those tests and it's going to go and run them. In this case, very straightforward, zero failures, um, so on and so forth. So we can go and download that zip code if we want to. Um, and that zip's got all of the source uh, information. We can sync that into a Git repository um, automatically if we want to. Uh, in this case, uh, if we come back into Test Modeler, come under the tests, we will see that we have one uh, summary. Uh, we can click on the run ID and we can come in and see the steps that we took, um, some log information. So in this case, here is the mainframe that we're going and working with. Um, next up, we're going to start modeling some more uh, combinations that we plan to see. Um, but this is a, a great start in how Test Modeler can really accelerate our automated testing. 